my brain, my heart, sports talk with Mike. Tomorrow, April 6th, Final Four takes place. I'm hoping uh, Louisville and Syracuse go to the finals. Uh, Louisville only because of uh, where. Uh, and I got Syracuse winning it all anyway. So um, that's, that's how I feel. And I'm going to promote a new movie that came out today, Evil Dead. I'm going to go see that with my boy, Matt Honke. What's up, buddy? Oh, love scary movies. Got my popcorn. Um, like, in my bag. I'm going to bring it, like, in my backpack and uh, see if I can pop it there because the prices at the, at the movie theaters, they're outrageous. And I need to borrow some money. So if anyone can send me $10 or if you all could send me $10, I mean, I don't get that many views. I'm guessing I'll get, like, I don't know, $10 in the end. All right, so today's episode, uh, it's going to be um, my predictions for the NHL draft if it was held today. And uh, I'm going to do one uh, on April the 29th or the 30th uh, because on the 29th is when the draft lottery is set. I won't give a full um, draft, but uh, one from uh, 1 through 14 on that day. But today is 1 through 30. Uh, uh, based on the, the stands uh, after last night's game. So, to kick it off, going first overall to the Colorado Avalanche, my Colorado Avalanche, uh, Seth Jones of the Portland Winter Hawks, uh, the big defenseman that has that offensive side to him. I mean, you got to go for it. It's what Colorado needs. They need defensemen. They need guys that can score. Uh, he learned hockey in Denver. It's a fit. It's what needs to be done. Colorado drafts Seth Jones. Going second overall to the Florida Panthers, Nathan McKinnon of the Halifax Mooseheads. Fast centerman, lots of, uh, lots of Sikhanlin, Sikhanlin skills. Uh, he gets there, I'm finding he's kind of taking a back seat this year, watching the games. He doesn't look like he's all into it. Um, but uh, with uh, Florida there, match him up with uh, Jonathan Huberto. It's a nice matchup. Going third overall, Calgary Flames, Alexander Barkov from Finland. Big centerman, uh, like not tall, but big. Uh, just quickness, a uh, grinder. He's like a pretty much replacing the role that Drew McGinley had, uh, and uh, they need a centerman. Nathan McKinnon's off the board. They're going with Barkov. Fourth overall, uh, Buffalo Sabres uh, from the Halifax Mooseheads to draft in Jonathan Drouin, uh, the highest uh, hockey IQ in the NHL draft. Lots of uh, patience, a uh, lot of smarts. Uh, he puts a puck on people's sticks like no other I've seen so far. Uh, and uh, he's perfect for, for the Buffalo Sabres on the wing. Going fifth overall, the Tampa Bay Lightning select Curtis Lazar of the Edmonton Oil Kings. He's just, he fits that. He looks like a Ryan Smith with a lot more offensive skill to him. And uh, they're going to love him in, in, uh, uh, in Tampa Bay, actually. So, um, and with Maron St. Louis uh, leaving shortly, uh, Lazar needs to, would, would fit perfectly with Steven Samkos. Sixth overall, the Carolina Hurricanes select, select Hunter Shinkara from the Medicine, uh, from Medicine Hat. Uh, he's just, he's a small guy, but he has score touch and he's still growing. He's, he's uh, nice score touch. He's, he's like a, a smaller guy that play, plays the power forward role and Carolina needs that. One that can really score. The Dallas Stars select uh, Valentin Zykov from Bay Camo in the QMJHL. Uh, he's the Rookie of the Year winner uh, in the QMJHL. Uh, had over 40 goals, a lot, a lot of uh, offensive side to him. Defensive, he lacks a bit, but uh, he'll learn that as soon as he gets to the bigs. The Philadelphia Flyers select from Salt St. Marie, Darnell Nurse. He just, he's a big body. He can score, but he can really... He can clear the, in front of his own net, and that's what I like about Nurse. The Winnipeg Jets from Sweden select Elias Lindholm. Um, he's just grown offensively and defensively. I feel like he hasn't even reached his potential, uh, and that's what I like about Lindholm is that he's just going to continuously get better. That's, and the Jets need that. National Predators select Sean Monaghan from Ottawa 67s. Uh, he's just a nice sentiment with uh, a lot of offensive gifts and defensive-minded uh, kind of forward, and th that's what uh, Nashville likes. Th that's the, their style. They like to play defense, but chip in with a goal here and there, but Monaghan can chip in a lot. The Phoenix Coyotes select Anthony Mantha from Valador. He's a guy that just knows how to score almost 50 or, or so goals this year in the QMJHL. Uh, he just, I feel like he just he shoots it, and, whatever, and, and that, that's what happens. That's what you need. You 100% uh, of the shots you don't take 
don't go in. Anthony Mantha just shoots, 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 and it just scores, scores, scores. Number 12 to the Washington Capitals, Valerie Nikushkin from Russia. He's just, he's a scorer. And a lot of Russians, if you notice this, they're really good playmakers, really good scorers. Uh, Washington, uh, they always draft uh, Russians. Uh, Alexander Ovechkin, Evgeny Konovskin. Uh, Valerie Nikushkin will fit in perfectly, I, I really believe, on, on, the, on the wing there. Columbus Blue Jackets select Max Domi from the London Knights. A uh, two-way guy with a more offensive side to him than people even, uh, I mean, his numbers speak for him, uh, for themselves, but when you look at him and his uh, style of work, uh, give him someone uh, that uh, nice guy like on his on the wing or center that just would be a playmaker for Curtis, or sorry, for Max Domi, uh, he's just going to pop more goals. Pop more goals. The New Jersey Devils at number 14 select from the Halifax Moose sets Zachary Fukali. Martin Boudreau is about to retire either this year or next year. Uh, Scott Wedgwood doesn't look like he's going to be uh, the goalie of the future. Um, Zachary Fucali is going to uh, really bring a uh, workhorse mentality to the New Jersey Devils, and that's something that they're accustomed to. And, I mean, uh, with the Mooseheads, uh, people don't look at him as a great goaltender because they have a lot of offensive side to him. But what they don't understand is when you're getting kind of bored there in nets, it's hard to stay on top of your game. And Vukali will do great for the Devils. Number 15, Edmonton Oilers select Joshua Morrissey uh, from the Prince Albert uh, in the WHL. Uh, it's time for them to really start building from their defense. Uh, for, for defense, they need a defenseman to really kick it up. I mean, they got Justin Schultz. They need one that can really play really solid defensively and chip in here and there, and that's what Joshua will bring to the Edmonton Oilers. Columbus Blue Jackets slide from the Rumuski Oceanic, Frederick Gauthier. Uh, he's just, he's a big guy, like, a, he's, he's just growing, he's going to uh, really uh, build a lot of muscle there. And uh, Columbus Blue Jackets, they need that center, they need a guy that's really going to contribute on both ends of the ice. The New York Islanders select Adam Earn from the Quebec Remparts. Uh, he's a strong forward. He's going to go to the net. He's going to pot a lot of goals there that uh, he has no business scoring in the first place. Uh, like a Thomas Holstrom, I think that's what he's going to really develop into anyway. Like a Thomas Holstrom uh, type guy, Chris Straper. That's what I see. The Calgary Flames select Ryan Hartman. I'm from Plymouth. He's a grinder. He's, uh, he's going to get in there. He's going to drop the gloves. He's going to score some goals. He, he's just going to do a lot of work. Uh, work a cycle in. He's just he's going to bring a lot of talent to the Calgary Flames. Detroit Red Wings select Jason Dickinson from Guelph. Uh, I think he's the best two-way forward uh, in the NHL draft this year. Uh, and I see him at a lot of leadership coming from him, a future captain uh, in the NHL. Buffalo Sabres select uh, from Sweden, Alexander Wenberg. Nice size. Um, He's quick on the puck. Uh, he, he knows how to uh, get a takeaway here and there. Um, he'll fill a nice power forward role for the Sabres. The Toronto Maple Leafs select from the United States Development Program, JT Comfort. He's just growing. And it, they, they need a center that can really um, pick up the pace uh, where uh, with uh, body checks, uh, scoring, uh, back checking, and that's what he can do, and he's just continuously growing, and I think he's going to be a big boy for them. The San Jose Sharks select Nikita Zadara from the London Knights, big guy, six foot five. He, he uh, basically, I mean, he'll, he'll score goals for you, not nothing major, but he knows how to score. But I mean, his big body that that's uh, the upside to Zadarov. If there is one, I think he's actually going to be the bust of the first round. Ottawa Senators select Bo Horvat from the London Knights, a rough guy um, that uh, just drives to the net. He knows how to put uh, the, the puck in the corners, especially top shelf. I, I find he's the best one there. To, I think he has the best shot in the draft. And uh, Ottawa Senators, they, they have a lot of young prospects. Look for, in the next three years, they're probably going to be the best team in the NHL and win a Stanley Cup. You look at their, their minors uh, in the AHL and uh, uh, the guys that they've drafted, they're just continuously uh, getting better and uh, they're going to be the best scoring team in the NHL. Columbus Blue Jackets, they select Ryan Pullock from Brendan. They were drafted two forwards. Uh, who they get? Uh, they selected already Max Domi and Frederick Goche. Ryan Pullock. He's a tough defender to get around. Uh, he likes to put uh, body on body, and uh, he knows how to uh, pretty much get the puck on net and look for rebounds. 
Vancouver Canucks are getting the steal of the draft. Nicholas Patan, uh, he's coming from Portland as well. He scored over 100 points over in the WHL. Uh, he's just, I've said it once and I'll say it again. He reminds me so much of Joe Sackick. I look at him and I just see uh, uh, how Joe Sackick, he used to be able to score like crazy, and but then he turned into a more defensive minded, but with scoring touch. And that's where I see Nicholas Patan uh, really uh, gaining interest uh, from the Canucks. Next up, Boston Bruins select Kirby Reichel from Windsor. Uh, he's growing uh, offensively, defensively. Uh, he's just he's one of those guys that's going to fly under the radar until like the second or third year, and that's when he's going to really contribute to the Bruins. I feel like he brings the style to the Bruins that uh, they'll love about him. Montreal Canadiens select Anthony Duclair uh, from the Quebec Remparts. He's just... Uh, I don't see him really uh, contributing like a first line, second line, but I think he's going to turn more into a, a check and forward uh, that can score a couple goals here. Never top more than 45 points, but that's great for check and line. Uh, forward, and uh, it's just going to be a hard mucker, and I think that's what he's going to really um, change into transition into a check and forward. Number 28, the Anaheim Ducks uh, select Morgan Klimchuk from the Regina uh, Pats, I believe it's called. Uh, it provides a lot of speed, uh, skill, a lot of quickness along the boards. Uh, doesn't get knocked off the puck uh, very easily because he's really quick. And uh, the Ducks need a uh, forward because Bob Ryan will be gone eventually. Team Slotty, Zach Koivu, they need uh, to bring in some, some nice forwards. Calgary Flames select from the Shikudami, uh, in, in, uh, from Shikudami in the QMJHL, Lauren Dauphin. He's a tough center. Uh, knows how to win draws, uh, big body in front of the net, get a lot, he's going to get a lot of rebound goals, and he knows how to push the puck uh, and really contribute defensively, and uh, Calgary will love that. I mean, they got Alexander Barkov, and uh, the other one that they got, Ryan Hartman. So I, I think they, uh, I was thinking that they might need to get defense. That's, I mean, that's what I was thinking. Um, and I mean, right now, uh, the reason why they have three first round picks is because St. Louis is in a playoff spot that can change. But I think they need to really build up up front. Uh, defensively, I think they actually have some, some pieces there that, that work for them. Uh, but forwards is what they really need. And they need scoring. Uh, Barkov, um, it's Barkov, Hartman, and Dauphin. They're really going to provide that. And the last pick. In the NHL Draft 2013, uh, coming from uh, Rimouski Oceanic, Samuel Morant. He's going to the Chicago Blackhawks, six foot seven. He's going to handle himself. He's like the Zenana Ochara. Uh, I think that's what I see. I think he's going to have a. He has this booming shot. Uh, he gets it on net. Uh, he's going. He's going to score goals. He's going to really. He's going to put fear in. Uh, like a lot of the younger guys uh, in the NHL in this draft and last last year's draft, they they're going to know who Morant is. Trust me on that one. Uh, so just uh, from my last prediction up until uh, this prediction, uh, Jones and McKinnon switched spots just because of the teams that drafted them. Jonathan Drouin dropped down because the Calgary Flames, they needed a center. And I had Barkov, uh, the Flames drafted Barkov last time, and they're going back with Barkov this time. Um, Curtis Lazar makes the biggest jump in my draft. He jumps about 15 spots. Uh, I really see him uh, having a big upside for first team. Um, Tampa Bay Lightning. Hunter uh, moves down a bit. Uh... Zykov wasn't even on my list last year, and he's moved uh, the last time, and he's up to seventh spot. Um, Darnell Nurse goes to Philadelphia uh, again. Uh, Lindholm takes a step back, so does uh, Monaghan. Anthony Mantha steps up a bit. Um, Valerie uh, Nikushkin he drops down like eight spots, but he still goes to the Capitals. That's who I had drafted last time. Um, Max Domi sticks around. Uh, the exact same place. Uh, let's see here. I think I had uh, no. I think I had him going to the St. Louis Blues last time. Zachary Vukali drops down. As does uh, Morrissey. Frederick Goche steps up. Adam Earn steps down. Hartman uh, makes a huge leap. Uh, so does Jason Dickinson. Adam Wenberg falls back. Comfort moves up. Zdorf slips some more. Horvath sticks around the same place. Ryan uh, Pulak sticks with the same team but drops down. Nicholas Batan is still there. Uh, Kirby Reichel same place just. In the, in the same vicinity. Anthony Duclair, same spot, same team. Morgan Kleinchuk, Lauren Dolphin, and Samuel Moran, they weren't even in my top 30 last time. Uh, and the guys that uh, were dropped were Erasmus, uh, Riss Tulslin, Artui Alakinen, uh, Jordan Subban, and Madison Bowie. They did not make my draft uh, for this, uh, this uh, top 30. And the next draft that I'll have, uh, the next, there'll be two more. There will be the one uh, with the one through 14 after the lottery is announced. And then after the Stanley Cup, I'll give one more. 
Uh, so there you have it. Uh, if you think uh, someone doesn't belong on my list or is ranked higher than they should or lower than they should, you let me know. You can tweet me at Sports with Mike or email me uh, Sports Talk with Mike at Hotmail.com. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of My Brain, My Heart, Sports Talk with Mike. Don't forget to go out and watch Evil Dead. It's going to scare the shit out of you. I already got three diapers packed in my backpack, and I'm wearing one right now because I'm scared uh, for the anticipation. I'm just nervous. I love scary movies. Matt Hunk, hold me.